But that would probably be it right there. It would actually be better if the whole building could move over looking at where the door is on this box car. So ideally I think I would like to move this building over because I would like to put a payload on this dock but not to be in front of the boxcar doors. So at that point it would give me uh, not very much room at all. Ideally I'd want this loading dock to be about there and as you can see if I get in there close enough it's not covering that uh, extra door so to cover that door I'd have to move this building to at least there sacks and I have uh, some detailed stuff there sacks now the thing is over here on this side because I want to put trees along here this only gives me about eight scale feet to put a tree and that does not seem very realistic. <laughs> is I have to determine how much exactly this, how many feet over is this uh, opening. Let me see if I can do it here. Okay, so this is the opening of this thing here. It looks like it goes to about, I would say right now we're about 12 feet over. So let me see. That's 10 feet over, right there. Okay, so I moved it a little bit to get it to about 10 feet. And to do that, now we can move this here. That would now allow about 10 feet over here for trees. So I think, ideally, why I wanted more area over there for trees, I think uh, based upon the size of the loading dock, and it's a pretty long loading dock, that that right there is probably the best space for this building. Focus, But you see that edge there along that cliff? I do want to put trees there um, along that edge from the back to the front. And then around here there will be uh, asphalt. Now I have two size uh, little vehicles here. I have this little truck which is so I kind of have to see if like okay this truck does look like it can come in and come out I think the main entrance it'll be over on this side and where this little thing is here uh, was where I originally wanted the street light but uh, that is a little off from where the side of the road is it could actually move over uh, now like I said this is only a scale ruler uh, but that light could move over uh, 10 scale feet closer to the road and still light that up and then that would have room for this truck the thing is there's already a hole in there with this wire so I would have to uh, I would have to cut this uh, make a, a linear cut and then fill it in with the foam putty which would take a little longer to dry See, so these are some of the things that I have to uh, consider and deal with uh, before I can actually put down the... Uh everyone so it's uh, almost 24 hours since I poured this 
I say almost. It's uh, about 22 hours. It's all dry. This really needs a lot of sanding right here where I'm touching. This turned out beautiful. This is great. The only exception is right by where this bridge section is. Uh, some of the plaster chipped off right here by the edge. I'm going to have to fix that with something. All the rest of it looks pretty good. It's a little high on this side of the rail, so I'm going to have to sand that. Uh, it needs some along here, and then where it meets this road section over in these here, it needs sanding in here too. Uh, from Blair Line. So I have ones that uh, fit more of a 9 inch radius, which are this one. So this will go here, and then these other two that I have here are for 11 and uh, 12 inch radiuses, I think. Uh, yeah. So these ones here will fit in between these here, and it's got a, a pretty good size to it. I don't know if I need a spacer in there or not, so I'm going to probably cut these out. A little road crossing, wooden grade road crossings look like. And uh, so that there is the uh, one for the 12, around 11, 12, 13 inch radius. And you can see it looks pretty good. Uh, you know, I might have to, I haven't glued it in, it's just sitting there right now. And there are uh, little shims for it uh, in the package, so I'm not sure if you can see the package, but you can see that white thing there is a shim. Um, that is pretty much right at the rail right there without the shim in there. Obviously, you're going to have to, we'll have to make sure it's somewhat centered in there. But it looks pretty good from just sitting it in there. Uh, like that's gonna work pretty good. Now I still have to sand outside the edge of this a little bit. It's up a little high uh, in this area. And I'm gonna have to do that with all of them. And uh, maybe make a couple more cuts along there, but uh, it looks pretty good. As you can see the nickel is showing on both sides. I'm gonna stain that a little darker color. Well, yeah, that looks like it's going to work pretty good. So, uh, I have to sand first before I can uh, glue those in. But uh, I will be doing that shortly. Um, and I'll probably actually will paint around here too. I'll paint all this before I actually glue in these center pieces. But I wanted to make sure they fit. And I tried them out and sure enough they fit. in all the crossing areas really nice and they look pretty good uh, overall. Good afternoon everyone! So I have another product by IMEX. This is the second product that I've gotten from this company. Um, this is called the Country Cottage in N scale. I got this for a really good deal. Oh, and it's heavy. There is weight to it. This thing is not made out of plastic. I can tell you guys can see that pretty good. So here is the front of the building. Or the door of the building, I guess. I guess it's not necessarily the front. It could be the back. It's got a little door there. Looks like the steps are a little crooked, okay. doesn't it? Look a little off? Looks a little off to me. I guess it could be a run-down place. But if it could be run-down, I'm going to have to paint it a little bit more dirtier. But considering the door is off-jammed a little bit, it's going to have to be a run-down shack. Now here's the other side. That side looks a lot better. And then here is this side. And let's show one last side. They did paint the roof pretty good. But yeah, and here's the underside. You can see how thick it is. And I tell you, this stuff is heavy. And I plan to put this in a wooded area. That, that, that's right. There's going to be a lot of trees around it. So you're not going to really see it too much. So some of these little things were that uh, crooked like that. I don't think you're going to notice. <laughs> Hey everyone, good evening. Everything is sanded now and the road is right at the edge of the rail. It's still a little, got some little sanding residue on it as you can see on my fingers. 
So I'm gonna go with just a damp cloth and get the rest of it off. I vacuumed it quite a bit, but it's not taking it all off. Good afternoon, everyone. So I painted uh, these roads and everything looks very good along the uh, track. So it's all painted here. The only thing I have that's uh, somewhat of an issue is over here. I'm kind of focusing on that. So this area here, I got somewhat of an issue because of this gap back here and uh, that loading dock that's going to be in back of the building. So I'm going to have to fill that in with something. So like this is where the building goes and in back of that this loading dock can't actually sit there because see there's like a little edge there so it does that it kind of tips instead of sitting flat so I'm gonna have to fill in that little area the paving tape left there and I did that with the uh, that coal area the coal and fuel area I filled that in with uh, some of that foam putty stuff that's what I use so I might just use that just to fill in along this edge thing to bring it up to the same level. Otherwise, this is pretty good. Everything is pretty good. I've done all the crossing areas and whatnot in the town too. You can see it's all painted all the way through. The only thing that hasn't been painted is the rest of the concrete stuff. So I gotta paint that one, this one, and I gotta touch that one up. And I still have to touch up of any of the concrete stuff. But because I gotta fill in that one section for that feed mill, I'm gonna do that before I start landscaping or putting in the lights. Also, there is the building that's going to go over here for this area, which is a small little cottage by IMIX. It's only about an inch by an inch and a quarter big. It's really the only thing that fits over here because I had to move over the road to accommodate the bridge better. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put trees all along in here. Obviously I told you I'm gonna put trees along here. So this is gonna be a heavily wooded area. Um, I did stop the road here because I will be continuing that road down in that section that's not finished. But once I get the lighting done, uh, wired and whatnot, and holes drilled in the town we can finish that off otherwise uh yeah it's been pretty successful this week and uh i'm hoping to have this whole scene over here with this feed mill uh hopefully almost done next week so that it can sit in there perfectly and like i said just need to bring it up almost a 16th of an inch uh and i've done it before with that uh, foam putty and so I think it should be fine if I do that again. <laughs> <laughs>